Okay, so um, we got a really nice day here. I'm surprised. Um, we've had nothing but cold and snow for the last 10 days or so, and today we're actually up to 40 degrees, so we are getting out for a ride. Um, we've had the same weather that uh, the rest of the country's had here recently. Um, just lots of snow, lots of uh, wind and all of that. But it's a beautiful day today. Um, it's going to be fun to get this guy out and see how it does. So um, the screen powers up from the button here. There you go. Um, this isn't, uh, you know, this is fairly bright light and a lot of glare out here. Um, but it's very visible. Looks good. Um, you can scroll up and down through the pedal assist modes. On zero right there. Um, it's got 0.4 miles on the bike, 100% charge on the battery. So we're going to go out and uh, see how it does here. So I'm going to turn this camera off and uh, I'm heading up the valley there. When I get up to the top, I'm going to put on the GoPro and uh, we'll find some trails to ride on. Probably not off-road. I think there's still way too much snow, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Hey guys. <laughs> We're just coasting that section. That was just coasting downhill at 35 there. We're still just coasting, no pedal, no assist. Stop here for a second. Huh, somebody's building a new garage there. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here today is this road winds all the way down there to the valley at the, uh, the lowest point, um, just winds around. And we're gonna go down that and then we're gonna come back up. Um, this, if you, right down here is Highway 119 going up towards Central City, up towards Central City, Colorado there. Um, but we're going to see, put this through a several mile climb here and we'll see how it does. I think I'll probably just be coasting almost all the way down 
So no battery usage at all. Maybe I'm not going to go down as far as I think. There's an awful lot of ice. And it's pretty slippery right now because it's starting to melt a little. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much. Once we get over on the into the shady area, I think it's probably going to be a mess. The brakes work well, everything, uh, no rattles, everything seems super solid and nice. I'm digging it. Oh boy. Yeah, I think the rest of the road's gonna probably be like this. So, uh, actually, because of the road conditions, I'm gonna have to turn around here and call this. Um, There's some other roads that uh, get more sun on the other side of the mountain and we're going to head for those. So I'm going to head back up. Let's see how the pedal assist does here. I'm on pedal assist 2 right now and we'll see how she goes. So I'm going to give her a little goose with the throttle here just to get rolling. I need to shift down a little. Okay. Nice easy takeoff. I'm gonna go down with my gear just to make it easy on myself. So the fact that I can uh, ride up this, which is a, a good grade, um, at 13, 14 miles an hour, um, just exerting just as much as I want to, um, that's exactly why I got this bike. Awesome. Don't let anybody tell you this isn't a workout.
Ooh, slippery. <laughs> I might have to get a set of studded tires for the snow here. Oh, this is nice. Exerting the exact right amount, but still traveling at a good speed. Sorry about that guys, uh, I wouldn't know what to do with my shitty GoPro batteries didn't die on me halfway through a video. I mean, it happens every goddamn time. I don't know what it is about uh, these GoPros and, and uh, their lousy batteries. Um, so I lost the whole last half of that ride there. Um, I went back up and over the hill and then I went down the other side of the mountain to the bottom and then back up. and pulled in here and realized the uh, camera wasn't on anymore so uh, sorry about that lost that but I'll get I'll have lots more footage here soon as the weather gets better and uh, I get out a lot more um, I may even get out later today but I'm not sure I'll video it but so uh, the bike does exactly what I bought it for which is uh, it, it gives you the level of, of assist that you want um, I don't want to ride it like a motorcycle. I have motorcycles to ride if I want to go out and just blast around with a throttle. Um, I bought this so that I could go out and get in some hard rides, um, but keep up a, uh, a better top speed, uh, you know, a more consistent uh, speed to what I used to be able to ride. Uh, I'm now in my 60s and, uh, you know, I'm not as strong as I used to be and definitely not as fast. Um, and so this is here to assist me on just getting out and, uh, and feeling like I'm covering ground at what I used to be able to do, which is really awesome. Um, the torque sensing in the, uh, cranks is, I assume the torque sensing is something to do with a, a crank sensor although it may actually be in the motor i'm not sure i'll have to research that but um, it's really nice because it sort of matches the output of the motor to your output sort of splits the difference and uh, gives you a nice boost based on how hard you're working um, so very cool i mean uh, great technology um, like I said at the beginning, uh, that's the last time you'll see this bike clean. It uh, got a little got a little muddy and splashed today, um, but no rattles. Didn't do anything funny. A very solid ride. Um, just that little out and back there was 10.9 miles, and I am still at 91% on the battery. So that's pretty awesome. Now, granted half of that down the other side there well probably half of my total ride was downhill with no power um, so that would put me down in the five to six miles of power at 10 percent yeah we're right on for getting a little over 50 miles of range on the bike so that's awesome um, if we 
actually if I count in a lot of downhills, which I do around here, um, I may be up in the 70 mile range on the bike itself um, with just it working half the time. So um, that's great. Suspension feels real good. Um, everything is working the way it should and I love the love the look of the bike. Um, got lots of thumbs up from people walking and neighbors and other bikers. Um, so uh, it's a really pretty bike and it hauls butt. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's really a kick. So uh, really glad I got it. So if you're thinking about one as a way to aid in uh, uh, getting fit again or, or just getting more exercise, absolutely don't let anybody tell you that it's just uh, a lazy man's or woman's uh, way of blasting around on the bike paths. You can, you can get a real good workout on them and not an issue. So uh, uh, lots more videos to come um, as I can get out and the uh, weather permits this winter uh, over the summer. I'll probably have a couple of videos a week as I get out on this and try different areas in Colorado, some back roads, go to some ghost towns, um, just have fun with it. So uh, thanks for looking.